Hi, Larry Jackson here with Ketchikan Alaska News. Today I'm visiting with Phil Doherty at the Southeast Alaska Di Regional Dive Association. We're going to talk coronavirus and PSP testing and the economic impacts here in the city of Ketchikan. I'll prompt that. So, Phil, can you describe for everyone the nature of PSP, paralytic shellfish poisoning, and how it relates to the state budget? Well, let me just give a real quick course on PSP. Uh, bivalves, the, the gooey duck clams, I'm talking about gooey duck clams, uh, the way they eat, they filter water. In that water, there's uh, phytoplankton, and the, bi and the byproduct of some of the, some of the uh, phytoplankton is paralytic shellfish poisonous toxin. It sits in their gut ball. It's only in their gut ball. There's no PSP in the meat. But because we sell it, on the live market as a whole clam, it has to pass PSP testing. So we spend uh, to get our samplers, our boats out there on the grounds to sample every week because it's only once you pass PSP, it's only good for four days and you can go right back and do it again. We spend somewhere around $150,000 to $180,000 a year just to go out and collect the samples and then ship them up to the lab in Anchorage. The lab in Anchorage is the only certified lab in. Alaska that state can certified st state and federal certified mm -hmm. federal certified because it, a lot of these are federal regulations mm -hmm. uh, the state has to comply with the federal regulations so you've got to go back to the shellfish industries uh, nationwide and we're all under kind of the same roof and same rules and regulations when it comes to the paralytic shellfish poisoning mm -hmm. and water quality so anyway so we get our samples we send them up to Anchorage we spend all the money to get our samples out in the grounds to collect our samples, get them up to the lab. And ever since uh, the gooey duck fishery has been in uh, um, existence and other bivalve fisheries have been in existence, the state has paid at the lab, they've paid for the actual testing of the, uh, of, for PSP. You know, the lab, we have not paid for the lab costs because it's a uh, public health issue and states are usually uh, carry the budget on, on public health issues. There's not another state in the union uh, that, pay, that has the industry paying for water quality and PSP testing. We're the only state that does put a lot of the burden on the industry. So the governor's budget as it stands today would impose upon not only the commercial gooey duck fishery but anyone who has an oyster farm for Americulture would impose upon them fees at the Anchorage lab above and beyond the collecting and the shipping of the samples. And with the sh collecting and shipping of the samples along with the water quality testing that we do, it pretty much taps us the gooey duck budget out every year. Uh, we're, we don't have a lot of money in, our, in the bank. Uh, that money comes in again through the assessment tax, so the fishermen are directly paying for these services to get the gooey ducks up there. If the governor's budget stands as it is today and he imposes a $400 to $700 fee per test at the lab, it very well could put the commercial gooey duck fishery out of business because <clears throat> we would not have the money to pay for it. And there's no other source of income for SARFTA except for our assessment taxes. How many tests are typically done in a given winter season? Uh, in the last, let's say five years, just go back the last few years, we usually send up 145 samples uh, for the course of a season. So if they were to charge us uh, $400 uh, more per sample at the lab, then you're looking at sixty to $70,000 added to our budget, which we don't have. If it goes to the high end, which some, which they've been talking about, of seven hundred dollars. You know, then you're talking over an extra hundred thousand uh, dollars that we would have to pay back to the state uh, to pay for the uh, lab costs. And the same thing would happen to the oyster farmers. They would have to pick up the cost of the PSP testing at the lab. And you know, we've talked to a handful of them, and I'll tell you that they're not making a, a tremendous amount of money at this point in time. And any added fees through the state of Alaska. Uh, could potentially put them out of business. Reiterate that um, compounding uh, economic impact from your diver. You said that for every diver, that for every X vessel dollar, it, it affects the community in an exponential way. Sure, it, it, you know, you can expand them out. The McDowell Group has done studies on this, and, and they can expand out seafood money paid to the, di to, to the fishermen. 
be it a diver or a salmon fisherman, it, it ripples its way through the community four or five times that. So for every dollar you pay a fisherman at the dock, that's four or five dollars spent in the community. So a $2.5 million, say, ex value on uh, gooey ducks may have a larger impact to a la uh, catch can Craig of over $10 million. Without a doubt. Yeah. You know, without a doubt. And again, uh, you know, since this is, since the dive fisheries are really the only winter, late fall, wintertime fisheries, uh, you take, uh, you know, in the sea cucumber fishery, there's 200 guys out on the ground fishing. In the gooey duck fishery, there's 60 uh, boats out on the ground. You take those boats out of the community, and as we've talked about, you know, they don't go to the fuel dock, they don't go to the grocery stores, they don't buy uh, this, that, and the other thing from the hardware store to uh, keep their boats up to speed. They're not paying their crew members, and the plants that are the land-based plants that are processing uh, those species are closed for the winter time, and they don't ha they, they don't pay their people. And your message to the governor and the delegation? <clears throat> our, our message uh, to the governor is simple. Do not charge uh, PSP fees at the lab. We pay for the sampling, as I said, you know, that costs us anywhere between 150 to 170, $180,000 a year. It's a very expensive program. We understand that and we fully in, um, will pay that and, and we accept that as part of the burden of, of, of managing these fisheries. But he puts an extra burden on us. It's a health issue, it's a, it's a public safety issue. Uh, as I said, there's not another state in the union that charges the, the, the industry, be it mariculture or commercial, shellfish industry, those charges and, and Alaska's the only one that does. And any added fees um, at the lab through this governor's budget would, could and will put us out of business. Okay, thanks, Phil. You bet. I'm here with Jeremy Layton on his boat, The Reliance, in Bar Harbor, and uh, we wanted to talk to Jeremy a little bit about this um, proposed budget cut to the DEC, which would affect the uh, gooey duck uh, um, sampling um, program and cost. Can you talk a little bit about what you know, Jeremy? And Jeremy sits on the board of SARDFA, so he can talk from that angle, too. So the state's got a proposal right now that they're going to impose a user fee on all the anybody that sends a, a sample to the DEC to get tested for PSP or any of that sort of thing. At the, at the current time, there's no there's no cost. Years ago, Sardva lobbied the state legislator to get a hundred thousand dollars put into the DEC budget so that we no longer have to pay the hundred and twenty five dollars back then. This was 15 years ago. So they, so for the last 15 years, 12 years, whatever it's been, we haven't had to pay anything. Now that the new budget, they're cutting DEC's budget down. The DEC is now proposing a, a user fee for every sample sent to be 400 to $700. And what that means to Sardva, on a normal week, we send in about six samples. We pay four of those six samples to get a diver to go out and take them already for about four thousand dollars so that would just that would that'd be an increase to us of about fifty percent more money uh, um, we start to taxes themselves every for every pound they get basically every dollar that comes in seven percent goes back to start to, that a diver makes when on top of that, we also pay the 3% fish tax to the state. So we're, we're, we're paying before we even get our check, before we can put it in our bank account, we pay 10% just to cover our costs. The last few years, SARFA has actually been going at a negative by paying for PSP sampling. Most of that cost is to pay the samplers to go out and take the sample out of the ground on, from their boat. If we add this, even at $400 to our budget, it will be broke in no time. I mean, we're we're potentially gonna not have money at the end of this season for next season. We're gonna have to come up with a way to figure it out. If they add this, it's just gonna devastate the fishery. We're gonna be on the verge of closing it down. If they increase this, not only to us gooey duck divers, but any of the oyster farmers are gonna be devastated. It's a huge cost. Okay, thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate you hearing that. 
Following up with Jeremy's conversation, I called Mita Mesdag of Alaska Shellfish Growers Association and asked her what their stand is on this governor's bu budget. Um, she uh, uh, was, they are in opposed, of course, to this uh, taking away of the funding of the um, PSP testing program and, and basically putting it on the sh uh, shoulders of the industry. The total that the governor is withdrawing from the gov budget is $457,700. And that would be spread across both the uh, gooey deck farmers and the shellfish uh, oyster growers of the state, driving up their costs substantially. Um, and she reiterated this would probably drive many, if not all, of the growers out of business. That business alone, just the oysters, does about 1.6 million in revenues in the state. And that's from four or five big farms and many small farms. We got a lot of farms coming on line, she said. So this would be a way to shoot the industry in the foot before it ever got off the ground. So that's my report. Thanks for watching.